all right so we'll be starting with vba visual basic for applications now uh, vba you might have heard about um, vba where people uh, as basically relate vba to coding right so here vba is an event driven programming language which is not only present in excel but you can also use vba in ms word in ppt generally we use it in excel why because we tend to automate the things a lot in excel right we use excel a lot on the daily basis and there are many things that we have to automate so this is something where vba comes in along with that there are different functions that we study in v, uh, in excel there are some functions which you cannot directly use in excel that we learn over the two days that how vba makes our lives easy in order to perform certain tasks certain functions in a easier manner right so this is one very important thing why we actually uh, do vba one second let me just switch off this okay so now it helps to build customized applications and solutions to enhance the capabilities of excel on other ms office applications as well as i've mentioned we not only have vba in excel but why do you call it visual basic for applications so these applications are basically the different applications of the ms office which is your word excel ms access ppt all of these they have a back end system called vba right so now uh, we'll start and during the two days of course you will understand that wh what is the major importance of vba so let's not talk about its uses let's not talk about its ad advantages right it's right now itself because with the studying of vba you will under understand that what are the main advantages why do we actually why do we need to learn vba in today's world right so this is something which is very important we all know that excel is used by everyone be it very small company or be it a mnc or be it just an individual right so how they can use vba to make their lives easy now in vba a uh, screen is hazy i have shared the screen so what you all can do is pin the screen which i have shared try to pin the screen which i have shared please see if it's now visible Okay great thank you ठीक है चलो Okay so now the first step towards VBA the first class that we'll be doing is we'll be recording a very basic set of events which is known as macro so what is a macro a macro is an action set of functions set of actions that can be recorded that can be named and that can be reused again and again all right so basically it helps us to do a certain repetitive tasks again and again data manipulation data reporting that needs to be done frequently creating a macro means basically you are just recording a keystroke that we'll be doing right now and there is a set of Met, there is a set of process of how to record a macro so it's basically you are just trying you are recording everything that you do in a excel for example i opened my excel i am writing 2 plus 2 4 right i am writing 2 plus 2 it gives me the answer as 4 so i am actually clicking on equal to sign pressing 2 plus 2 all these keystrokes which i am doing or moving my cursor all these things are recorded by excel it creates a macro it saves it and then you can use it later on so this is what is the first step towards learning your vba right so we will not straight away start with writing a lot of codes the first step will be to just understand how to record it how to save it and how to use it right using some case studies so uh, i am not going through the ppt it's very boring so let's just quickly straight away start with the first a uh, sheet which i have shared with you all so please download this recording a macro sheet you all can for the time being open any excel spreadsheet however if you open this it will be great because i have some data sets mentioned over here which i have shared in the group all right so now this is a simple excel file 
right this is a simple excel file you already have seen this now where is our vba or where is our v, uh, uh, vba located so if you have you might not be having this developer tab right you might be having home insert page layout formulas all these tabs but you not not be having this developer tab not requ required for the time being but in order to proceed with the further classes we'll be needing this right so you all can just click on file just click on file more options file more options and here we have an option of customize ribbon you can customize your ribbon and here we have the main tabs so in the main tabs section you all will see we have the developer tab so just click on this developer tab and click on okay the moment you click on okay you will get this developer tab over here so files option and then you have customize ribbon just click on this developer and you get this developer tab clear now let us first start with a very basic macro basic set of event all right so what i will do is there are two three ways of recording it we you all can just go to the view tab or you all can just go to the view tab and here you have this macros you all can see macros over here on the view tab right on the view tab we have macros and also you all can see one icon over here on the bottom left of your excel bottom left of your excel you all can see this button over here so this is again when you just hover over this they will say no macros are currently recorded so basically this is also a place where you can start recording what is a macro it's just a word given to the set of keystrokes that you are recording in excel that's it all right so now what i'll do is i'll click on this macros and click on recording record a macro just click on this record macro feature the moment you click on this record macro a pop up box will open up and it will ask you what is the name of the macro which you want to give so for example the name of the macro that i want to give is let me just so this is the name which i'll be using for for the purposes whenever you want to access this particular macro this is the name that you'll have to search for so let me just write a demo macro that i'll be creating so i'm just giving the name as demo now what do you mean by shortcut so you all have shortcuts like control c control v control c is for copy control v is for paste control z is for undo so all these shortcuts which are already inbuilt in your ms office applications but now there is some shortcut which you can create so try to create shortcuts which is not already there for example control c is for copy so don't please create control c over here obviously we'll try to create some shortcut which is not there however many a times you might see that we also have a shortcut with shift control shift s control shifts right so we have short shortcuts which use shift as well the shift button so here if i am for example just creating control t or maybe control d just let me give control d if i just type d over here so control d the shortcut control d will take this demo as the macro so whenever you click on control d later on your macro will be executed right if you want a capital d then control just press shift d shift d just press shift d so it will give you control shift d capital d why capital d shift pressing shift changes your um it changes to a caps lock right upper case now the next option is store the macro in so we have different options do you want to store the macro in this current workbook what is a workbook the spreadsheet that we are using or do you want to save it in a new workbook a new workbook will open up and it will save the macro there or personal macro ma macro workbook this is basically uh, when you are storing any macro over here it basically means your macro is being stored across all the spreadsheets right so generally we don't use this generally i'll be using this workbook as the option later on we'll see we can also have the personal macro workbook as the option when you want to save some some kind of uh, macro across the different workbooks right so i'll be just using this workbook as the option tomorrow we'll uh, see how we can use the 
पर्सनल मैक्रो वर्कबुक ऑप्शन एज वेल सो आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस वर्कबुक नाउ दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन विच यू ऑल कैन गिव बेसिकली फॉर दोज हु मे नॉट बी यू नो दोज हु हैवेंट क्रिएटेड द मैक्रो एंड वॉन्ट टू यूज द मैक्रो विच यू हैव क्रिएटेड और मे बी फॉर योर लेटर पर्पसेज सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग दैट दिस विल रिकॉर्ड बेसिक एडिटिंग दिस विल रिकॉर्ड बेसिक एडिटिंग दैट आई एल बी क्रिएटिंग ऑन माई एक्सेल नाउ द मोमेंट आई क्लिक ऑन ओके द मोमेंट आई क्लिक ऑन ओके माई दिस पर्टिक्युलर डोंट डू एनी थिंग एंड जस्ट डोंट क्लिक ऑन एनी थिंग जस्ट सी दिस पर्टिक्युलर आईकन ओवर दे बॉटम लेफ्ट हैज चेंज एंड वेन यू जस्ट प्रेस ऑन दिस मैक्रोज यू विल सी इट हैज चेंज टू स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग डोंट क्लिक ऑन दिस बट यू ऑल कैन सी इट हैज चेंज टू स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग नाउ अ बेसिक मैक्रो दैट आई वॉन्ट टू रिकॉर्ड सो जस्ट टेक योर कर्सर एनी वेयर फ्रॉम द होम टैब आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू चेंज आई वॉन्ट टू आई हैव गिवन अ येलो कलर टू दिस लेट मी गिव अ नाइस मे बी ब्लू कलर बोल्ड इटैलिक्स अंडरलाइन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो एड अ बॉडो so all editing different editing if you want you can change the font as well so different editing uh editing i have done on this particular cell now i'll straight away click on this stop recording this is the stop recording button or you all can again go to the view tab again click on this macros and click on the stop recording button anything you want both the things will do the same right so i'll just click on stop recording the moment you click on stop recording again your this particular icon has changed right and you all can see this particular item this particular macro now this particular cell is already edited if i click on control z if i click on control z right this will not you basically anything which your macro has done you cannot undo gen generally you cannot undo that okay so we will see that later on first of all the macro is recorded the first step is to record your macro the keystrokes are being recorded done we are here now let us understand how we can run the macro that we have created but we haven't run the macro we'll see this ye humne ye humne khali se macro record kara hai theek hai so let let us let us just check now what we'll do now what we'll do यहाँ पे देखो यहाँ पे एक बटन होगा लेफ्ट टॉप बॉटम लेफ्ट इधर इधर मेरा आइकन इधर इधर पेज नेम्स के नीचे में एक बॉक्स है ना उस पर क्लिक करो स्टॉप रिकॉर्ड हो जाएगा ओ तुम स्टॉप ऑलरेडी तुम स्टार्ट ही नहीं किया होगा यू हैव स्टार्टेड द रिकॉर्डिंग वापस से कर लो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है या तुम पहले ही स्टॉप कर दिया होगा ठीक है दिस ऑब्वियसली happens the first time you record your macro now once this is done how to access the macro so again we can go to the view tab again we have the macros just click on this and click on view macros the moment you click on view macros the moment you click on view macro since we have just recorded one single macro over here we have the name of the macro as demo we all can see the name of the macro as demo my cursor is on g3 my cursor is on g3 i'm clicking on run i'm selecting this and i'm clicking on run the moment i click on run aap log dekho this particular cell has now been highlighted so i'll just type anything over here i'll just type my name shivangi and you all can see this has border this has bold this has bold this has underline and this has italics right so everything that i had done earlier i had recorded in my macro is visible over here clear yes vanshika did you all click on stop macro done so be, uh, just please uh, so maybe um, just try to repeat the step again just repeat it again it's undo ne just repeat it again create a new macro create a new macro just let us let us again create a macro please see over here 
आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग एल्स ठीक है आप लोगों ने क्या किया है आप लोग वो एक एक की स्ट्रोक को याद करो वॉट यू माइड हैव डन इज आई शो यू ऑल नाउ वॉट यू माइड हैव डन आई स्टार्टेड माई माई कर्सर इज ऑन आई थ्री माई कर्सर इज ऑन आई थ्री आई एम नॉट चेंजिंग माई कर्सो आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग विथ माई कर्सो इट इज ऑन आई थ्री माई एक्टिव सेल इज आई थ्री ठीक है क्लिक ऑन रिकॉर्ड माइक्रो लेट मी राइट डेमो टू डेमो टू I am not creating any kind of shortcut right now. I've already created one. I don't want to create another. So I'm just giving this is a demo macro. All right. Please notice first. Please see, and then you all can do. I'm clicking on OK. The moment I press OK, this icon has changed on the bottom left. This is now basically the macro has started. It's recording. What you might have done is you might have changed your cursor. You took it. You took it to somewhere else. Don't do that. Why? You'll understand just after five minutes. Don't change your cursor. Leave it where it is. Don't change your cursor. I'm changing it into yellow. Color. I'm changing it to red. And then. uh bold italics again underline again a border don't take your cursor any ye jahan tha just keep it like that and now just click on stop recording don't change your cursor now try and now do now just view ab aap log now click on any one cell click on view macros and click on demo 2 and run and you get your anything you can write anything not necessary right so this will give you कुछ भी तो इट गिव्स यू नाउ व्हाई दिस इज हैपनिंग दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज यू हैव लर्न समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एब्सोल्यूट एंड रिलेटिव रेफरेंसिंग इन एक्सेल सो ह्योर व्हेन एवर यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग अ मैक्रो व्हेन एवर यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग अ मैक्रो माय मैक्रो इज यूजिंग एब्सोल्यूट रेफरेंसिंग मतलब आप लोगों ने यू स्टार्टेड योर यू वर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस के टू You all changed your cursor. You all took your cursor to somewhere else, and then you all started the recording. वो cursor जो आप लोगों ने change किया ना the moment you changed the cursor, your Excel stopped recording. We will understand this in the second class when we will start writing the codes. So that is why the method that I used right now for recording, there is one step which is added. when we start recording is that when you click on this macros option there is a option called use relative referencing so the the moment you all created this particular macro your macro is using absolute referencing what do you mean by absolute referencing if we are on cell i3 you are starting from here you are starting the recording and then you are moving your cursor to somewhere else it will all take absolute references so each time you record your macro and you run your macro the moment you run your macro your cursor will go back to that b2 because b2 mein kya tha absolute referencing so moment i started the recording for example my cursor is on a1 i started the recording recording has started and now i took my cursor to m1 it will record m1 as the cell and whenever agar aap yahan hote for example if your cursor is over here and you started the macro it will take to m1 and do whatever you did on this m1 itself so that is why your macro was running but it was performing its task on cell m1 only that is your absolute referencing dollar m dollar 1 but however whenever we record a macro we will be using what relative referencing so now what is the benefit of using relative referencing so this is one way we have learned how to record a basic macro how to run the macro that was one way of running it now let us also learn the another way which is the shortcut which we created control shift d control shift d see take your cursor anywhere control shift d and your macro is being executed control shift d that is what i took if you all took something else then you all can just change it control shift d clear so two ways we have learned how to run a macro first from the view tab and second from the shortcut key we can do that we can do that but we will have to use coding okay 
third thing now now let us understand how we can use relative referencing over here all right what is the difference so my cursor is right now in cell a1 my cursor is on cell a1 first c okay i am clicking on this macro but now i'll not start recording the macro i'll click on use relative referencing so now see this particular box is checked iske bahar me all can see your outline this particular box is checked okay that is the difference so if there is a box then if there is a outline this box box is checked so i am now using relative referencing so it's not dollar m dollar 1 now it's just m1 now understand the difference my cursor is on cell m1 i have just clicked on relative referencing macro i have not started yet i have not started the record recording okay i'll click on this or you all can just click on this record macro anything i have clicked on record so i am just writing demo this is my demo 2 i am just writing demo 2 i am not creating any kind of shortcut i am writing this macro uses any anything you can give relative referencing any description this is just for your sake just this is just for your understanding sake even if you don't want to give a description it will take it as as it is it's not compulsory the description and the shortcut key is not compulsory you have to definitely give a macro name you have to definitely tell it where do you want to store it these two are compulsory these two are not i'll click on okay the moment i click on okay okay there was already uh, no so i'll just change this to demo 3 okay so now my cursor is on a1 i'm taking my cursor to um, let me take it to cell b2 so i'm moving one step right one step down one step right or maybe one step down one and then right whatever however you take it as and now i'm performing some tasks for example i'm again changing the color to maybe blue i'm changing the color to maybe let me take it as dark green whatever you want and bold italics and maybe just again a border i've done some editing again and i'm keeping my cursor over here i'm not changing my cursor i'm clicking on the stop record button i'm clicking on the stop record button the moment i click on stop record button again my macro is completed it's done now understand the difference so now i'll take my cursor to cell m1 now if we were using absolute referencing and if i executed the macro it will take my cursor to b2 ha na like earlier it was happening for all of you it was taking your cursor to the existing cell but now what will happen just understand the difference okay view macros acha this you have the shortcut is alt f n f8 or f alt f8 so alt f8 or alt f n f8 this window opens up alt f n f8 or all f8 any anything anything which works for you and now click on demo 3 and run <coughs> alt f8 ya fir alt f n f8 whichever laptop you're using so i'll just click on demo 3 and i'll click on run now see what happened we were on cell m1 one cell down one cell right so this is the benefit of using relative referencing it will record all your keystrokes and in case of absolute referencing it will only record the cell name k3 so it will be k3 always here it was b2 but now since we are using relative referencing it has changed our cell it has moved to n to one step down one step right understood the difference between relative and absolute we will be always using relative referencing all right we will be always using relative referencing for recording our macro is this clear so we have learnt two ways shortcut key and the view macros option go to the macros and you all can just select it and run all right now another way uh, of running the same macro is that we can also have a quick access and this is the quick access toolbar here we can have a button to run a macro how to do this go to the files option more and options <clears throat> file tab more options and here we have and here we have customize ribbon 
sorry quick access toolbar quick access toolbar <coughs> because we want to add it on the quick access toolbar quick access toolbar and here in the quick access toolbar here in the quick access toolbar click on all macros click on this macros option and select suppose let me select demo 3 demo 3 and click on this add add so now this demo 3 has been added over here if you all want you all can also modify the this particular logo this particular logo which you all can see so i'll just modify it to this um blue color button click on okay so you all can see i have modified it modify you all can just select any particular symbol and you all can see your symbols might be different due to the version mismatch of excel i am using office 365 if you are using any other versions your symbols might be a little different and then you all can click on okay the moment you click on okay we can see a button over here has been added this is the button to the macro so my cursor is on k6 i am clicking on this button and see the macro is running so these are the three ways we have learned the third way of running the macro we have learned the third way of running the macro clear there are two more ways that we'll be learning using the case study that we'll be learning using the case study is it clear till here interesting so now you can actually this if even if you have learned this basic thing now now you all can actually record anything ha na you all can record anything in your excel the mo any repetitive task that you are doing and then you can just record it use it later on but you also have to edit it many a times you might not get the desired result so now that is why we'll be learning that in the further classes so this is what a basic recording of a macro will do for you clear ha which shortcut on your uh, quick access toolbar options quick access toolbar got it now did you click on you maybe have clicked on cancel bol se okay so now um understand <clears throat> you all have this particular sheet recording a macro sheet with you all so i have a few tabs over here 2019 20 21 22 20, so these are basically i have taken our data uh where we have the different years and we have the different type so it's a basic a data from a fmcg company that they have uh, put over here the different type of the product producer and all these things are there now we have the data same data for different years for four years over here all right we have the data for four separate years i have to do the same now here we just have four sheets imagine having 25 30 50 sheets right imagine having 50 sheets and doing the same task across the 50 sheets that you all have obviously very time consuming so now using the record macro feature itself we'll be learning how to record a macro to do the same task again and again across the sheets without using the function keys or anything all right so we'll start from the very first sheet 2019 now before moving stepping into this one small thing that you all have to understand this is about again basic excel so here for example i have a few numbers written okay and here uh, you all have uh, learnt about something called as autofill feature if i write for example 6 over here and i just click on this double i'll just do this double click it will take it will fill the entire uh, row, uh, column as per to wherever you have this particular last row ha na this is the basic autofill option that we have there is another shortcut that we have which is control d control this was the uh, reason i did not take d as well control plus d so there is a shortcut what this shortcut will do for you is that for example i am writing 2 multiplied by this one all right obviously we know that if we double click it will fill up the entire column we all know this what if i tell you there is another shortcut control d which is again a shortcut for auto fill only how to use this shortcut please see how to use the shortcut i will select the entire column 
and click on control D. The moment you click on control D, everything fills up. Hana? So this is why I'm teaching you this shortcut because this is something that we'll be using now in recording our macro. Why? Understand this thing very carefully because again we are moving into a case study. So here in 2019 we have how many rows? We have <clears throat> 3, 4, 7, 9 rows. Alright. In case of 2020 we have 3, 6, 9, 9 rows. So we have a higher number of rows over here. In 2021 we have again a higher number of rows. So the number of rows are not same in all the sheets. Is It's not same. So whenever you're we have a data like this and you are recording a macro, always understand what happened here when we were using relative referencing. It moved one cell down, one cell right. So now my task, first understand the task. My task is I want the cost column, I want the sales column. What is the cost? The cost is volume into cost per unit. What is sales? Volume into price per unit. And I also want a summary over here, a small summary of total cost, total sales and total profit. Total sales is the sum of this column, total cost is sum of this column and total profit will be total sales minus total cost. Clear? So I want these three summary over here in all the sheets. So these are the four tasks or maybe three tasks. Cost column, sales column and a summary, short summary. Okay, so we have three tasks over here. Now, in order to create the same task in all the sheets, what if I tell you, I <clears throat> let us just use the basic knowledge that we have to record macro so far and let us record a macro. This will be a basic macro because this will not give us the correct answer. Okay, I've given you a disclaimer. So now what we have to do, you all can just see. You all can just see what is happening. So I'm just clicking on this record macro button. Again, make sure once you have ticked this use relative referencing, it is on. I don't have to again and again click on this because we have a border over here. It means I have ticked it on. I don't have to again do that. My cursor is currently in cell I2. Record a uh, macro. Again, let me just give, uh, because this is a macro that will not give us the correct output. So I'm just giving it as maybe, um, I'm not giving it as cost. I'll just give it at demo four. Okay, I'm just giving the name as demo 4. I'm not writing anything right now, so I'll just click on OK. The moment I click on OK, the macro has started. What I have to do is equal to volume multiplied by cost per unit. Enter. Double click. Entire column has done. Filled. I'll just keep my cursor here again. Stop macro. Done. Done. Let us check. Full column is there. Done. I have recorded the macro. So what my macro has recorded? In cell I2. In cell I2. I was in I2 only. In I2, I have written equal to volume multiplied by cost. And then I have autofilled the entire column. Do the same thing on 2020 now. For example, I take my cursor again to cell I2. View. Macros. Demo 4. Run getting the answer but then we are not getting the answer for the entire column why because when you are recording the macro my macro has just recorded this particular action of multiplying volume and cost for only three four seven nine rows not all the rows so only learning record macro feature will not help the help us we'll have to understand the code as well but now without even manipulating the code i will again record a macro a fresh macro that will give us the correct answer so first of all let me just quickly delete this particular column now again going back to 2019 now understand the correct way why this was happening this was happening because here my number of rows was less if it was more, then I would have got the answer, no problem. But since my number of rows was less, I did not get the answer for all because my macro only recorded for the first 3,499 whatever number of rows. Because it uses the number of rows, it counts the number of rows you have gone down and you have filled the entire formula. What we can do? 
I'll explain it over here what we can do. So what I can do is for example my formula is written over here equal to 2 into 1. I've written my formula. I'll move one cell down. One cell left. Control down. Takes me to the end of the column. Eight cell right, one cell left. Control down. Control down will take me to the end. Now this taking to the end will be different for all the sheets. When you are pressing control down, control down, this moving to the end will be different for all the sheets. Hana. For example, if my 6 was still here, then control down, I would have gone till here. Hana. Hana. Now again, right. Control shift up. Select the entire column. Control D. Your entire column fills up. This is the approach that we'll be using while recording the macro. Why? What will happen? Again, see. Again, see. In 2019, I'm here. Okay. First, see and then I'll give you all. So, volume into cost. I've moved down. Right. Maybe just one step left. Control down. Right. Control shift up. And when I press control D, the entire column fills up. What am I recording? I'm recording moving to the left, moving to the down. This moving down will be different for all the sheets now. So it's not actually recording the number of rows. It's recording moving to the last filled cell. I'm not recording number of rows 3, 4, 9, 9. But I'm recording moving to the last fill cell. And we'll understand when we'll write VBA code that there is a code for this moving down. Okay, and then you are selecting the entire column, which is again different. Control shift up and then control D. So anywhere, did I record the number of rows? I did not. But when I was clicking, double clicking on the autofill, it was not recording where, it was not recording the features. It was just recording that jaha, it was actually recording 3499. All right, so it was not recording moving to the right or moving down anything. So now we'll actually create the macro. We'll now actually create the macro, how this will work. So again, you all can work with me. I'll click on record macro. So this is for the cost. So I can write cost. Okay. I'm not creating any kind of shortcut not giving the description. If you all want, you all can give a description. Click on OK. The moment you click on OK, your macro has started. I'm currently on cell I2. Make sure you are on cell I2. Just make sure you are on cell I2 before you start the recording, not after. Before. If you have, if you have done wrong, please stop your macro, re-record it. Okay. Equal to volume multiplied by cost. <coughs> Equal to volume multiplied by cost move to the next just click on enter the moment you click on enter you move to the next uh, row move one cell right uh, left control down right control shift up control d and this has completed my entire completed my entire column. Now make sure, make sure you don't do anything else. You don't do anything else. Just what you can do is click on the down arrow if you want. Or maybe you can click on just this particular, try to click on, just move one cell down. That's it. Just you can just click on down arrow or up arrow, anything you want, anything. Clear? Click on stop. Click on stop. Done. So my entire column is filled. Take your take yourself to the 2020 sheet. Take yourself to the 2020 sheet. Now here what we'll do. Now here what we'll do. I'll click on this macros. View macro. View macro. And I'll click on this cost. Make sure you are on cell I2. Before running this, click on run. And now your entire column is filled.
not only till 3400 something it is filled till 3700 clear clear so take your do the same thing for all the sheets do the same thing for all the sheets and see this was just a very basic thing obviously what i can also do is i can add a button over here and just keep on clicking that button every time you move to the sheet so done in all the sheets is done right i've recorded it one time i can do this multiple times now next same thing we'll do for sales but just we'll be having volume multiplied by price all right so again i'll record a macro record a new macro here i can write sales click on okay make sure your cursor was on j2 make sure if not stop recording start again okay equal to volume multiplied by price <clears throat> see even if you do some cursor idhar udhar na after recording doesn't matter make sure when you start it is on j2 okay so volume plus now just move to the left control down right control shift up control d again you can click on up arrow down arrow at whatever you want and then click on the stop record feature move to the new sheet here in sales i am doing the same thing let's see yes done okay 2021 sales run just check yes 2022 yes okay yes vanshika then you ha huh, you you what you have done is uh, when you were recording the macro you might have clicked on some key like during the recording during the recording when you have completed this entire thing you might have clicked on some cursor right so you have to re-record it you have to re-record it that is why i was telling you why this happens we'll see this after uh, when we move into the coding part because the excel will not understand na excel is currently over here now if you are going back and clicking on some random cell this random cell will be different for all the sheets so that is why it will give you the runtime error okay runtime error means there is no problem in your code but there was a problem while executing it this is this is the problem that you are facing okay all right so now once this is done the next thing is <clears throat> we have to make a summary okay we have to make a summary so again please see because this is a little trickier part so we have we are currently on a uh, cell l3 for example i am on cell l3 this is where i will be on all the sheets okay cell l3 now here what i am doing is again first please see and then you all can do we that we can adjust using the code so that we'll see see you can do many things just using the record macro feature but these adjustments we'll have to use the coding okay all right so here we have the view again uh, we'll use the record macro here i can write summary okay make sure you are on cell l3 do not change it do not do anything else and i'm writing summary in the next one i'm writing total sales total cost and total profit i'm just randomly typing it okay if you want you can also adjust the this particular column adjusting column also takes into account okay now here my total sales this is sum of this entire column now what i will do is i will just drag this i will select this column but now if i do this again the same problem they will record the number of rows only up till 
so in order to avoid this situation what i will do is i will instead i will instead select the entire column j i'll just click on this i will select the entire column j because anyways there is nothing there below the data right so i'll just select column j so it basically will take the sum of the entire so now it does not depend how many number of rows you have in the separate sheets same thing i'll be doing in my cost i will selecting this entire column again in the total profit it is sales minus the cost what else we can do if you all want you all can just select these go to the home tab if you all want you all can change it into maybe uh, currency if you all want or accounting you all can change this into bold you all can change this keep this on merge and center make this as bold right if you all want you all can add a border nice border right done and now make sure again vanshika again don't keep your cursor anywhere just leave it like this or if you want you all can click on this l3 but just leave it like that will be better option okay leaving it like that will be a better option so here this is done i can click on stop recording i can click on stop recording all right now okay acha record kar lo make sure when you move to the new sheet here you start from the same cell which was l3 for me it was l3 for you you have to notice from where you started so i'll teach you two more ways how to run a macro this was have we have already seen i think uh, three or four ways now we'll be seeing another two ways of running a macro so this is done the macro recording is done okay so now i'll move to this 2020 sheet keep my cursor on cell l3 cell l3 view macros view macros summary run and it gives you the answer now let us learn let us learn the two another ways i'll move to sheet 2021 i'll move to sheet 2021 another very interesting way is to insert any shape any picture anything and assigning your macro to that shape or to that picture so that is why we tell you just a click of button why because this is the button that we are creating so just go to the insert page uh, i'm you might your this insert tab might look a little different from me so you have that option uh, shapes option click on that shapes and insert any shape so i'm inserting this maybe a simple button or a simple shape maybe here and now you all can type something here so we can type summary statistics anything just edit it maybe if you want doesn't matter much okay so i've created this nice shape okay just the shape simple shape anything any editing you can do right click on this right click on this shape right click on this shape and there is an option called assign macro click on this assign macro and all the macros that are there on your sheet so i have this summary click on okay so this macro this particular shape has now been assigned the particular macro now when i click on this keep my cell on cell l3 click on this macro has been executed all right if you want see macro has been executed this is one very interesting way that we use many a times 
which we learn later on how to automate your things see if you all want you all can uh, copy this copy this and paste it over here paste it over here but it's i think uh, yeah you cannot you cannot you cannot ha huh, tishu tell me did you record the macro so that was the entire thing so keep your cursor on cell l3 keep your cursor on cell l3 and then i had written that entire thing and while i was doing that i had recorded started my recording you have seen now how i have recorded this entire thing how what were my steps oh this okay so just right click and click on assign macro and click on summary whatever macro you want to assign and click on okay okay another way is by using the uh, control buttons now what are control buttons this you can get in the developer tab so can you see we have the entire macros portion over here record macro view macro this is the tab that we'll be using from today from now okay so here we have this insert and we here we have the form controls so i'll be inserting or uh, maybe here i'll be inserting the first button which is the form control i'll be inserting this and the moment you just draw the shape straight away this assign macro will open up why because this button is to assign a macro this is for executing a macro shapes are not always to assign a macro right but this is the function of using a form control button is actually to assign a macro so that is why the moment you make the shape this particular window will open up again you can assign summary to this and okay sorry just you all can assign the summary I think I already have assigned it. All right, and okay. So now again, if I just click on this, we have the summary. Now why did it come over here? Because I did not select cell A or uh, L three, so that is why it took something different. If I just again click this, so we have the summary over here. All right, clear. okay so this is how we also use the form controls you can also you know if you want you can edit the text so you can just write maybe right click edit text so i can write um again summary do not double click on this because if you double click it will take you to the coding part so don't do that and assign a macro is there if you want you can just edit the text and everything size and alignment and font so these were the different ways of running a macro clear is this clear let us now end the recording macro topic by a very nice um data set that we have over here now before moving and before doing this particular task which is the last task in the record macro um topic so here what i want to do is basically <clears throat> we have a data where we have you all can see different formulas are there and there are some hard coding numbers these are hard coded numbers and these are different uh, these are the hard coded numbers and these are the formulas and these are again the hard coded numbers clear all right so just do one thing just cut and paste it over here uh no mm, no okay just leave it like that then 
ठीक है आई थिंक देर इज अ ग्लिच विद द डेटा बट देन ओके इट्स फाइन द ओ टी रेट शुड बी दिस सेल सो आई जस्ट सिलेक्ट दिस सेल इट्स फाइन एंड taxes held is actually this cell doesn't matter all right so now please see now please see we have this company data we have this company data now what i want to do is what i want to do is i want to make this sheet into such a manner that any user of this sheet will not be able to change any kind of formulas will only be able to change the numbers the hard coded numbers and any kind of hard coded numbers which are there not the formulas because i want my formulas to be intact okay so i will first show you all in a new sheet over here create a new sheet let me write few numbers so these are few hard coded what do you mean by hard coded you are you have written some numbers obviously which which can be changed and now i'm create i'm calculating the sum of all these numbers so this is the sum so this contains a formula and these contains hard coded numbers this contains a formula this contains hard coded numbers all right now what i want to do is i want to in the entire sheet i want to highlight the places where we have hard coded numbers and i want the i want to tell the user of the sheet that you can change the highlighted part but you cannot change the other rest of the part so how to do this how to do this we'll record a macro for this all of you please see because this is also i think you might not have done in excel itself so you all can see what we are doing first of all the very first task is when you click on this format you all will see the lock cell option don't click on this but you all can see this lock cell option basically when you click on this you are locking a cell when you click on this it locks your cell from any further task okay don't click it don't click on this all right now what we'll do is i will first select so i will first record the macro obviously so i'll just go to the view tab again <clears throat> um record macro i want to give the name as um maybe protect from editing okay anything you can give any name and click on okay also remember whenever you are giving a name uh, to your macro it cannot have spaces in between it cannot start with a number it should start from a variable just like any naming convention that we follow in any particular any software any programming language so now it has started now first thing is to select all the values which are hard coded All right so that you all can do go to the home tab and we have find and select or you can just click on the shortcut f and f5 f5 is the shortcut f5 is the shortcut or maybe you can just click on the find select option over here find select and you have the option of go to special okay go to special or f5 f and f5 and special gives you the same thing now here i want to select the constants only the numbers not anything else not the text not the logical operations not the errors just the numbers hard coded manual inter uh, manually inputted numbers click on okay so now we have macro is running in behind and we have selected this the all the hard coded numbers now i'll just change the color maybe to any blue i am taking just a simple blue color don't do anything else now just click on the format and click on lock cells okay click on lock cells the moment you click on lock cells this particular thing is now logged okay this is now logged now go again to the format and click on protect sheet all right click on protect sheet so protect sheet will pro protect the user i am not giving any kind of password protect the user of the sheet to write anything in your or edit anything in your sheet don't click on anything else just click on okay the moment you click on okay the moment you click on okay and you can just stop recording 
so what are the steps first step is to just uh, find and select go to special sorry because this is protected so it will not do uh, over here but again go to special select only the constants all right only the numbers then just change the color format click on lock cell and then click on protect sheet now let me just try to change this particular it's not changing but if i want to change this if i want to change this it's changing so only the log because i logged these cells and then i first i logged these cells and then i protected the sheet so your logged cells are not protected those are unprotected are you getting the point so what is happening in a new sheet i'll show you show this thing to again uh, to you again so basically when you select the cells and when you click on log cells this is logged but the other cells are unlogged so when i click on protect when i click on protect your entire sheet is protected other than the cells selected other than the logged cells so now i cannot do anything over here but i can make the changes in these two cells oh sorry in these two cells clear so again you all can create a new sheet just randomly type any four five values and write a function okay write a function then you have to then you have to go to find and select go to special go to special start recording start recording go to special first you have to start the recording go to special click on constants click on only numbers ha huh, ha huh. everything will happen after you start the record recording of your macro so i'm just again showing it to you all t equal to okay just keep your cursor anywhere you want doesn't matter now again you have to i am not recording it but you have to start the recording you have to start the recording now start recording then go to special go to special will take you to these constants go to special click on okay color this format lock this and then protect click on protect sheet okay now when i take it to my editing this sheet and i try to run the macro the macro which i had created macros view macro protect sheet from editing and click on run so see all the cells wherein we had just the hard coded numbers are highlighted now if i change anything to these cells nothing is happening see i cannot change it but this i can change this i can change theek hai so recorded in a separate sheet and try to run it over here so that you can understand whether whatever you have done is correct or not okay so once you have done all this you have to close and save your workbook right once you have done all this you have to save your workbook right so now what how to save it how to save a macro enabled workbook because this is not a simple spreadsheet now it contains macros right when i click on just simply i just click on cross it will ask me if you click don't save so basically uh, for me i have already maybe saved it as a macro but for you it will ask you do you want to save it as a macro enabled workbook is it asking if do you want to save it as a macro enabled workbook when you just click in click on cross do you want to save it on a click uh, so if you click yes it will save as a macro disabled workbook so now here what you have to do is when you want to save it as a macro enabled workbook just you can take on file save as option and here here try to select excel macro enabled workbook save as
तुम सेव करके वापस करेगा तो आएगा वेन यू अगेन क्लिक ऑन सेव एक बार अभी आया आया ना सो सी बेसिकली इफ आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेव इट विल आस्क मी है ना टू कंटिन्यू सेविंग एज अ मैक्रो फ्री वर्क बुक क्लिक ऑन एस इफ यू क्लिक ऑन येस ऑल योर मैक्रोज विल बी गॉन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन येस बाई मिस्टेक सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव इट एज अ मैक्रो इनेबल्ड वर्क बुक क्लिक ऑन नो ठीक है क्लिक ऑन नो एंड देन दिस विंडो विल पॉप अप this window i was showing you the same thing just another way of doing it file save as gives you the same thing only so here save as type you have to select macro enabled workbook a normal excel file will be dot xlsx this will be dot xlsm m for macros okay so now i'll just click on save i'll click on save and now This has closed. Now here we had this file recording macro. So I have two files actually. One is a simple Excel file and one is a because this is was this was my earlier file actually. You might just have one file recording a macro and you all can see this icon. See this icon. This icon is basically to show that this is a macro enabled workbook. See Microsoft Excel macro enabled workbook. All right. This is how you save. a macro enabled workbook all right clear you can also go to the file save as option and select the file tab type as macro enabled workbook okay 